He said it was uh, mystery meat. Folks, I tell you, I do not know what this stuff is. <laughs> Folks, what is good, man? Look, we had just had a couple jokes going on. My son has some jokes, man. <laughs> but uh, it is the reason why we had some jokes. As you can see right now, you're probably trying to figure out what's going on. I have two raw products right here. These products right here aren't mine. These are not Iron Dog Raw products, but these are other company products. I am not putting their names out there, anything like that. But what we're gonna do is, since we're this video right here, we're talking about my raw dog food um, that we are launching, um, and we're gonna co we compare them. We're doing some comparisons and stuff like that. Um, you know, between mines and these other competitors right here. And again, I am not putting a name out here. And my son has some jokes. Uh, as you can see, this one right here, he said it was uh, McDonald's. And, <laughs> and then this one right here, he said it was uh, mystery meat. Folks, I tell you, I do not know what this stuff is. Um, now on the package, because I, uh, I did write it down, my sloppy handwriting. This right here, let's, let's just call this brand A, right? Whoever this, I know who it belongs to, right? Because I went and purchased it today. Uh, but this right here is beef with organ and bone. Um, and this particular product right here comes with synthetic vitamin, vitamin A and B12 subs in it, folks. Synthetic. And if you ever heard me from any of my previous videos, uh, don't get down with synthetic uh, vitamin packs and stuff like that for dogs and stuff. Um, and then this one right here. So this was a one pounder. This one right here was a one pounder. This right here is a two pounder. Now this isn't two pounds in here. This is about uh, just a little over half a pound. The other, the rest of it, I, I chucked out, I tossed out. But what we got in here is ground beef, ground bone, and organs. And so basically, this is what we're doing, right? Since we're launching our own raw, raw dog food and stuff like that. Again, this is the whole comparison thing. We comparing um, the quality. Uh, we comparing ingredients, we comparing pricing and everything like that as well, folks. Um, because it's just crazy, like, of how much other companies are out there pricing this stuff for. Um, and then the question remains is, if is this stuff, you know, good? And so, but besides that, man, so let, let me... Let me just start here real quick. I, I'm pumped up. My entire family is pumped up that now we're branching off. We're moving into the raw dog food industry. And we have a manufacturer, folks, that's giving us top quality premium meat, beef, and stuff, folks. Uh, we have three different blends right now, right? We have this right here is my Supreme blend right here. And in my Supreme blend, right, what I have in here is we have beef muscle, 80% beef muscle. Uh, we got 10% bone, and we also have another 10% of organs. The organs in here, you're gonna get uh, liver, you get your liver, you're gonna get your kidney, um, and you're gonna get spleen in this right here. And then also we have two, two other ones. Um, that I have as well. They in my deep freezer and stuff like that. We have the, um, that's the Supreme blend. We got the muscle blend. Um, the muscle blend is 70%, 70% beef muscle, 10% uh, green tripe, 10% uh, bone and 10% organ as well. Uh, and then we have the strength and uh, stamina blend. Now, the strength and stamina blend, that's gonna come with uh, 60%, 60% beef muscle and 20% Pollock, 10% bone and 10% um, organs. Now, here's the thing folks, with that strength and stamina blend, and when it comes to all of our blends, right, we chose basically the ingredients that we, the, we want in there as it pertains to protein sources, you know, the beef, the fish, and, you know, the type of organs and things of that nature, right? We chose that. And so I think it's with the manufacturer that, you know, that's producing our stuff, right? Man, um, 
at first when we was going on into this, right? And I'm thinking, okay, I do want to go the route of fish. And I'm thinking, all right, I want to do better. How can I do better than other companies out there? How can I do better even from a customer standpoint of me wanting the best for my dogs and stuff? Now, sardines are great for dogs. They are. Um, I feed my dog sardines. They have eaten sardines. Sardines are good with omega-3, omega-6, um, fatty acids and stuff like that. Um, but when it pertains to, you know, our manufacturing stuff, man, these guys are bringing the best of the best. Our Pollock that we have is actually fresh, uh, wild caught Pollock. Nothing farm raised at all. And our Pollock itself, man, it comes from the Great Lakes. <laughs> it's so folks. Yes, it comes from the Great Lakes. Um, and so, yeah, so our blends, man, had top quality meats in it and stuff animal sources in it and in addition to that we are working on a fourth blend right now um that fourth blend will be ready to go once production is started on my other blends right now production have not started on my blends and even as you can see um right here with this big old <laughs> juicy thing man this big old juicy thing this thing is in a clear casing and so as it pertains to our raw dog food Right, we, we having our casings developed. But then also with our casings being developed, um, we having a plate created that has our logo on it that will go on our casing. And so, you know, that's why right now we're not producing anything other than having our own stuff produced for us that we can go ahead and as we've been doing, feeding our dogs with and marketing talking about it and stuff like that, sharing our experience and discussing our joy and happiness. And so, yeah, so the plate is being created um, and the casings as well. And then once all of that stuff is done, um, then we can go ahead and ramp up um, production to go ahead and start preparing our stuff and getting it out there to you guys. And so, yeah, um, we're happy. I'm happy we pumped up and stuff like that and ready to go. But yeah, and so the thing is we're just doing comparisons. Um, on this stuff and so what i'm going to do right now is i already got this stuff out i'm gonna go ahead and crack this thing open now this is a five pounder right here right we're not selling five pounders at this time folks at all we will be selling two pounds only right i know a lot of people gonna be out there why why not five pounds why not five pounds there's gonna be some people out there wanting five pounds and it was basically the approach that I wanted to go with with delivering raw dog food. We will get there with five pounds. Trust me, we will bring five pounds, but we just want to touch the surface with two pounders and stuff like that. I, I am a, I, I ha, you know, I started off with five pounds for my dogs and I have large breed dogs and stuff. But as of lately over the past, I don't know, uh, six months, seven months, I've been going to two pounds. I, you know, I just feel as though two pounds are a lot more easier, um, you know, for me just to, control what my dog eats and stuff and not wasting food you know because there are days and stuff like that where i do want to cut back on what they what they eat and for me i would like to keep this stuff fresh man and you know there's been moments where i slice open a five pounder and stuff like that and you know i go ahead and give it you know maybe get three pounds to tony then i gotta put the other not of this stuff but some other stuff that i you know that i had you know i had to put it up and, and uh, there have been moments where I, I sit up there and i will waste it and so again, just from my experience as a customer, right? That's the reason why we went with two pounds. Because I'm pretty sure there are people out there who that feed their dog raw food that experience wasting it. But then also for those who may come, right? The new customers that may come to uh, purchasing raw, right? Let's start off with something small, something simple, something easy, something that you can control. That's the thought process, something that you can control. Uh, and in mind to keep counting with and stuff like that and not waste your money. Because the last thing that I do want to have is for people who never fed raw, people that never fed raw, um, to, to sit here and grab a five pounder and, you know, they get a dog, whatever, two pounds from this, then another three pounds get wasted, right? And so, yeah, so we're starting off with the two pounder folks. Um, other than that, right, I may have to take a commercial break. Hopefully I won't, but I probably will have to take a commercial break. Um, but besides that, right, 
when it pertains, let me get back to my, my strength and stamina blend. That's that's the blend I'm pumped over. Actually, I got the, the fourth blend that we got coming. The fourth blend that we actually have coming, folks. Um, man, this thing is going to be loaded. L listen, load it. Load it, load it, load it. So just stand by. Let's let's get through these first. Let's push this stuff out first. And trust me, that fourth one going to come. And then trust me, there's going to be others. And there's going to be raw meaty bones as well. And so, but let's go ahead and get this thing cracking. Let me not say cracking, but get this thing going. And so, as we can see, we can see the texture and stuff like that. We can see that this stuff right here, there is some... Some blood at the bottom of it, which is good. You want something that's moist and stuff like that. But I don't know what the this is like regular sausage right here, folks. I don't know. And this texture right here, right? So one 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 research that I did, I, I did realize that people could put food coloring on meat and stuff like that. Now I don't know if there's food coloring in this, right? I don't know. But if I would have to assume the fact that this thing is bright red and just a little bit of juices at the bottom, not that much. Right, and my son is calling the McDonald's. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little food coming on here. Maybe not. Who knows? But that's that texture right there, right? And so here's the thing. This was a two pounder for thirteen ninety nine. This one right here, two pounds for thirteen ninety nine. This sausage, right? that's what I'm calling it. Sausage. I don't know. Mystery meat. This mystery meat right here was six twenty nine for one pound. One pound, folks, for six twenty nine. Two pounds for thirteen ninety nine. That's fourteen bucks for two pounds. And so, for some of y'all that probably know already, and others that probably don't know, our two pounder, folks, right? Especially the Sup the Supreme blend. That two pounder is six bucks. Two pound of our Supreme blend, which is this. Again, this is five pounds. Is six bucks. This mystery meat right here is one pound. That's six twenty nine. We beating that price. This two pound right here, folks. Right. This uh, what my son called the McDonald's meat. That's thir That's fourteen bucks right here for two pounds. You get two pounds of this right here, right, folks. That's six bucks. Six bucks. Two pounds, fourteen bucks. That means that for twelve dollars, folks, you could get four pounds. You are beating these prices. And these are actual manufactured prices that's out there. But let's go ahead and get this thing cut real quick. And this is what I want to show. Look at that meat, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Now look at the rest of that texture. Look at all that. And people know quality. People know quality. If if people out there are, f are food people, right? Right, dog people that have been dealing with raw. You know quality. This is quality right here. This is quality, folks. And so. Folks, and this, look, you can't video edit this. You can't add no images. You can't add no sparkly things or whatever the case may be. But this stuff right here, folks, when I keep telling and putting out there that, hey, this is top quality. This is some top quality stuff right here. I'm going to get at the Tony later. I'm going to end up giving this to Rocky. But folks, you make the judgment call. You make the judgment. What would you rather feed your dog? Right? And again, this stuff right here. Our brand, folks. Our raw dog food is not being whipped up in our kitchen. Even though I'm whipping it up right now. But I posted a video on Instagram earlier. And showed you guys, man, the packages that were mailed into me. And that's how our packages will actually come to you guys, man. Um, you got to put your orders in uh, before, I think before Monday, um, that they're supposed to ship out. I think it's like 11 or 12, 11 a.m., 12 noon, and then you'll have your package, depending on where you live at in the States, within one to three days. Um, now, 
Our package was mailed on Monday. It came today, which is Thursday. And so, yeah, it was three days for us. And our stuff was still frozen. And if you guys haven't seen it, maybe I added to the end of this video um, the clip that I did, I posted on Instagram. Man, my stuff was still frozen. Still frozen, folks. Our stuff is being prepared at the farm. At our manufacturer, right? It's being prepared there. Nothing comes here. The only thing that will come here is the food that I need <laughs> for my dogs. Other than that, everything's being prepared at the manufacturer. It's going. It's coming from the farm straight to your home. And this is what you're going to get, folks. Some fresh raw dog food. And that's what we bring. And at a reasonable price, folks. At a reasonable price. And I feel like I don't know, man. This is like a... And at the end of the day, it's a blessing. That's what I'm going to say. It's a blessing. And if I am being blessed with something... I'm going to say, if I am. I know I am. Being blessed with something, there's no reason for me to run up the price. Now, could I jack the price up on this? Will it be fair? Well, yeah. Everybody else, right? 14 bucks. Why not sell this for 14 bucks? Right? I'm pretty sure I can sell this for 14 bucks. But why? Why? And so we keeping this, we keeping our raw dog food at a affordable price for folks out there. For people out there that was at myself that was spending tons of money every single month on raw dog food will be able to save now. Cut their cost in half. Right? Before we have our had our own product, I was with a company, right? As in I was buying their raw dog food from them. And we were spending a ton of money every month. And for those who were basically in that price range, I ain't putting out there how much I was paying a month. You definitely gonna cut that in half, if not in more than half, based on what you were buying. You know, and for those who never purchased raw because of the price tag was high, folks, now you'll be able to afford it. Whether if you're gonna feed 100% raw, or if you just wanna feed raw as a topper, or if you just wanna feed raw, 50% raw and 50% kibble, you will be able to afford it now. I will muscle blend, right? So the Supreme blend is going for $6. Our muscle blend is going for $6.50. Um, and our strength and stamina is going for $7, folks. For two pounds. For $7 for two pounds. And my strength and stamina still beats this. I mean, all my prices will beat this. Come on, one pound for $6.29? I would not pay... I would not pay one pound. I would not even buy this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even feed this to my dogs if somebody brought this to me. I wouldn't. Now, here's the thing, right? There's other companies out there that do got good raw dog products. There is, right? Raw dog food is the way to go as it pertains to nutrition, keeping your dogs healthy and stuff. Kibble is, is killing dogs, folks. It is. Kibble is killing dogs. Heart disease is on the climb. Cancer is on the climb. Um, and these dogs, the lifespan of dogs are decreasing. And so going on a raw route, right, will help. Um, I'm not saying go this route because I don't know what this stuff is. And this is the one right here that has the synthetic stuff in it. So I'm not with giving my thoughts on that. It's like us as humans putting GNC products in our body. Now, people do put GNC products in your bodies, but a lot of that stuff is not even FDA approved. So you really don't know what you're putting in your body. And then on top of that, what you see on the back of the bottle when it talks about ingredients, that's not all the ingredients. That's the ingredients that they have to list. But what about all the other chemicals and stuff like that that they use? They don't have to list that, list that stuff. So you really don't know. And so, again, with synthetic vitamin packs and stuff like that, I definitely don't want to go that route, right? Because number one thing, right? If you feeding your dog, either if you go on the route of a PMR, right? And when you go on the PMR route, it's just muscle meat. It's just bone. It's just organ, right? Yeah, you probably could. That's what it is, right? You have people that are tossing extras, the pumpkin and blah, 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 and 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 um, the non-dairy fat plain yogurt and all that stuff, right? But then you have others that go to bar fraud, right? And when you go sit there and go to bar fraud, right? Yeah, in addition to the muscle meat and the raw meaty bone and, well, yeah, raw meaty bone, just grounded up bone and organ and stuff like that, right? You get your veggies, you get your fruits, you get your seeds and stuff like that, folks. And so there's so much stuff out there, right, that you can sit there and get with raw dog food that there's no reason to put synthetic vitamins and things and stuff. So I definitely would not feed my dog this crap right here. That is crap. That is mystery meat. And that's something I wouldn't give to anybody. Now this right here, folks, uh, 
this look okay this look decent look decent you know i still got bone you got some bone right there you can see which is good which is good and so but um this do look like mcdonald's meat <laughs> it actually does thinking about it looking at it right now it does but at the end of the day we're gonna kick this to the side but when you look at this right here folks what do you really want to feed your dogs i'm gonna feed my dogs this and it's not just the simple fact that, yeah, it's my product. Well, yeah, of course it's my product, but man, we bring in the best of the best. And if I seen this at somebody house, they was feeding their dogs, I would want this as well. And so it's a wrap, folks, man. I didn't start this thing off and say like, subscribe, but let's let's do that. Like, subscribe, share, send this to whoever you want to send it to, folks. Send it. Um, we pumped up. We pumped up, folks. IronDogRaw.com. It's the website, go check it out. We have a ton of information on there and stuff like that. Uh, we have a raw feeding calculator on there as well. If you, if somebody needs to determine, hey, how much should I feed my dog? I look at it per two pound. That's what we sell two pound rolls. This one right here would be $6 per two pounds. The other one, six fifty. the other one, seven bucks. But other than that, folks, man, I gotta go. Because besides our food, besides the dog's food, our food just arrived. And, but I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and feed my dog first while everybody else eat. But other than that, yeah, irondograw.com. Go check it out. Hit me up on Instagram and stuff like that as well, man. Folks, keep your dogs happy. Keep your dogs, well, keep your dogs healthy. That's going to keep your dogs happy. Um, other than that, folks, I appreciate all love and support. And uh, Hey, this is the first time Tony has been quiet. He, he, he knows something is up. He knows something's cooking for him. <laughs> and so he's definitely going to get this. This is going to be Rockies. And this stuff going in the trash right here. But other than that, folks, man, I'm trying to think if I got anything else, man. Look, at the end of the day, I ain't got nothing else. And my camera guy trying to rush me right now because he want to eat. But I'm out. Peace.